Hi there, welcome back. Right, I'm going to be looking at another issue of Crash Magazine because I um, loved this magazine back in the day, as I've already explained. This is the uh, the famous Mikey cover, and it's issue number 25 from February 1986. As you can see, it was priced 95 pence. Yet another stunning um, Oliver Frey artwork there. Not sure uh, anyone lets their kids go out dressed like that nowadays. Must have been the 80s. Um, so let's see what's in this one. Oh, blimey. Um, advert for Legend of the Amazon Women. Decent enough uh, buttocks and boobs on show there. Shame the game's a load of crap. Um, right, uh, adverts for Rasputin, Runestone, Costa Capers, which I believe is the follow-up to Technician Ted, and Jerry the Germ. We've got an advert for Cyber Run, which... I can't, oh, sorry, I've got the fan on, because it's a bit warm in here. And it's blowing everything all over the place, as you can bloody well see. Um, Cyber Run from Ultimate, which, for some reason, um, got a crash smash. And uh, I've played it, and I think it's uh, it's woeful. Um, but never mind, who am I to argue, eh? Um, news of uh, something or other. Um, the Microgen National Computer Games Champion... Um, news from Microfair, there's the lovely Suzanne Mitzi, um, former Pay Tree girl. And we go straight into it with um, Mikey the Review. It got a crash smash. I've only ever played it a few times and um, I find it uh, a little bit tricky, but um, it seems to be regarded really fondly. Now, as ever, shout out um, in the comments section down below with your, your memories, etc., of um, these games. Um, the Mikey conversion was uh, handled by the late great Joffa Smith. Advert for Best West... Oh, I nearly said it there. Um, West Bank um, from uh, Gremlin Graphics, but it was by Dynamic Software, written by Alvaro uh, Mateos. I hope I've said that right. And based on the uh, arcade game Bank Panic by Sega. Um, really, really good game, that. And that features in one of my... Or does it? I'm not actually sure if it does. It was so long ago that I did it. My um, Best um, Arcade Conversions video. I'll have to check that. I know I've covered it before. Um, Graham Gooch's Grooch. Who's Graham Grooch? Graham Gooch's Test Cricket. Um, never played that. Never played any of the specky um, cricket games. Are they any good? An advert for Squirt by David F. Todd. Now this used to make me... Uh, I always found this quite qu quaint. They tell you in the early magazines what um, language the game was written in. As you can see, it's written in uh, machine code. Now I don't know this game at all um do you do you remember it do you own it etc now does that character look like um dynamite dan i think he does somewhat uh advert for v i used to love that tv program but i know ocean um did a game of it but never played it so what's it like people let me know zoids based on the um toys the sort of robot dinosaurs from uh that were popular way back in the 80s. That gets a crash smash. It was released by Martech, as you can see. It's by the Electronic Pencil Company, who did Fourth Protocol, I think, and I also think Trivial Pursuit for Domark, or Domark, however you say. I've always pronounced it Domark. Is it Domark or Domark? But as you can see, that's uh, got a crash smash. Now, I'm not sure if I've ever played it. Um, what's it like? Is it worth checking out, people? Barry McGuigan's World Championship Boxing. How that hasn't got a crash smash, I don't know. It's only just shy of it, as you can see, 88%. And uh, this is what always used to make me laugh about um, Crash. You remember, it's, the reviewers were, it was sort of famed for having, uh, using youngsters as its reviewers, but sometimes they, uh, they used to write in the style of old people, you know. Um, look at that sound. Jolly little jingles and good noises. Who uses the word jolly anymore? But anyway, yeah, uh, that was a massive digression, wasn't it? Barry McGuigan World Championship Boxing, really good game. I have covered that before, and um, I play it every now and then. 1985 from Mastertronic. Uh, looks like it was a bit of a stinker. Um, not played it. Doesn't look like I need to be in any rush to. Um, what do you think? Advert for Ball Blazer. Uh, never played it. Again. What do you know of it? Is it any good? A computer word search game. 33%? Yeah, it looks uh, forgettable. 
the Spectrum version of Yi Ar Kung Fu. Now, this is also um, a great, great um, game. As you can see, it's got a Crash Smash, and uh, the author remains unlisted. Um, now, I enjoyed this game. My mate had it on the BBC Micro as well, and um, I thought that was really good as well. Now, it's one of my favourite games um, from the time, but Yeah Kung Fu 2 features on my worst ever sequels um, video, alongside Renegade 3, Barbarian 2, and a couple of others. Now, um, Yeah Kung Fu 2, where the first game is great, the second one is just absolutely hopeless. If you've ever played it, you'll know what I mean. I was fortunate in that I only ever played Yeah Kung Fu 2 on um, emulation, so I never actually paid out hard money for that. I'd have um, I'd have been crying for a while if I uh, if I had done Suivo's World, um, isometric game from uh, Gargoyle Games gets a crash smash, ninety five percent. Have played it. Uh, Gladiator advert for Gladiator from Domark, which was. Um, one of the first, although it's advertised for the 48k, I believe it was one of the first 128 games as well. Letters page, uh, variety of people writing and moaning about stuff. Uh, to the uh, ah, look, look, the trailer from Lunar Jetman. Many people have written to you claiming to have found the trailer in Lunar Jetman, but you've always proved them wrong. I decided I would have a go at finding it, and um, we found it, and blah -de -blah, blah 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 And as we know, um, the trailer was all bollocks, but um, there you go, um, someone reckons they found it. Uh, mind you, that letter might have been uh, a wind-up as well, I don't know. Um, obviously some of you out there that uh, are far more learned in this thing, these things than me might um, be able to uh, correct me on that. Some uh, whining about lens lock, and uh, I can see why. Um, goes on about Elite. Now, the version of Elite I had, I never actually managed to play it because I couldn't get the uh, lens lock to work. So I actually first played... Um, I first played um, Elite on emulation some 25 years after I'd bought the bleeding thing. Um, a feature on Durrell Software, who are still going, I believe, although they don't publish games. Uh, three out of four of those games are crap. Rambo's all right. Uh, oh, educational stuff. Oh, I don't want to read that. Rock and Wrestle. Now, ah, oh, right, Rock and Wrestle. I remember that being advertised, but I never, ever played it. Any good? Worth checking out? Let me know. Real time software advertising Star Strike 2. Uh, what's that one? Uh, for a game for the QL. Night Flight. And a game for the Commodore. Oh, we won't go into that. Commodore 64. Uh, Super Silver Range advert from Firebird. Uh, William Wobbler, which I believe is written by Tony Crowther. Oh, wait, so as it bloody says there. Um, any good people? Again, don't know. It's got a commie 64 screenshot in it. Always suspicious of games that did that. The uh, the famous Jetman cartoon. Competition to win a day out with Master Tronic. Robin Candy's playing tips. With Robin Candy. Uh, what's that? Hello, hello, hello. I appear to be missing a page. There's obviously a review of um, Gun Fright there from Ultimate, which got a crash smash. Now, um, I kind of enjoyed it. I did a video... One of them um, a few weeks back. And it was okay, but I found um, the controls a bit daft, to be honest. Preview and introspect... Sorry, pre sorry advert for um, West Bank from uh, Gremlin, which I mentioned earlier. And... Um, a feature out on Gremlin and Way of the Tiger. Some uh, there's obviously Peter Harrop uh, there in a second from the left, um, who wrote the uh, Monty Mole game. Gate okay, well, Monty Mole game. The Hall of Slime, you know. Feature. Look at that. This is supposed to be a magazine that kids would buy. And it's like pictures of severed heads. Now I always used to find this fun. This is bullshit central. This page. Um, Mr. Broughton from Grins Hill in Shrewsbury 
Uh, completed Night Lord, completed Underworld, completed Sable Wolf, completed uh, well, Alienate, da da da. Nightshade, Exploding Fist, Sixth Dan. I could get to Tenth Dan on Exploding Fist. Uh, Trash Man, Woodcomb Vale, Jet Set Willie completed, Finders Keepers completed, uh, School Days completed. Oh, sorry, about 8,300. Booty, 27 pieces. Wanting Monty Mole completed. And they have no way of verifying uh, <laughs> any of these. So you could have just basically um, written whatever you liked. I got a million, a zillion. I won a game on match day, 400 nil. Mind you, if you were playing against me on um, match day, you probably would have won about 400 nil. Uh, Hunchback the Adventure. I've forgotten all about this one. I've forgotten all about it. Was that any good? I don't like adventure games, so I'm not likely to check it out. But um, was that any good? Uh, preview of Ark of Yesod, or Yesod, or however it is you say it. Uh, da, da, da. Preview of Tw Twister, Mother of Harlot, as I believe it was originally called. Does it say something about that? And uh, they eventually had to rename it Mother of Charlotte once everyone realised what Harlot actually meant. Um, a featurette on Microsphere, you know, they didn't do an awful lot of stuff when you look at it. But what, when you look at what did, the, what, sorry, what they did do, the the um, school games, Wheelie, Contact Sam Cruise, that, not so much Contact Sam Cruise, but even though it's a great game, but it's, um, the, the school days games are just um, fantastic, you know, and they just gave up. Um, this feature also featured parts of it heavily in the Retro Gamer a while back, uh, a long while back, um, where they, it was sort of explained how the read is actually entered into um, the software uh, writing and publishing uh, business and why eventually they left. So I wonder what they're up to now. Um, advert for movie. I've got that game downstairs. Stop blowing it all over the place. Um, Super Bowl from Ocean, don't know if that was any good. Winter Games from Epics, that was great. Apart from the speed skating and figure skating, I think. And uh, uh, there might have been another one that was a bit pony, but I can't remember. Uh, Adventure Trail, Mind Shadow, yes, yeah, I don't like the adventure games, so let's whiz through that bit. Uh, advert for uh, Ickups and Ark of Yesod, Yesod, whatever. Uh, advert for uh, OCP Art Studio. Advert for Elite Cosmic. No, that's not Cosmic Water. That's Nomad. That's a great little game. That is really difficult as hell. Right. What was number one in the charts? Fist Elite Match Day Fairlight Hypersports Starquake Back to School Highway Encounter Nightshade Lords of Midnight. God, look at all those names there. All classics. All classics. Can't say I've played all of them. Uh, technical mumbo jumbo bit, which I'm gonna zoom straight past because it might as well be written in Japanese for all I understand of it. There's an advert for Cosmic War Toad. Uh, weird game. Um, played it a few times. Not really sure what you've got to do in it. Um, Daily Thompson Super Test by Jonathan Smith. Follow up to Decathlon. Again, very good. Advert for the They Sold a Million. One of the first sort of compilations, I think. Or one of the earlier ones, before they became really popular. Decent games in there. Uh, Star for Karnath, obviously, is a Commodore 64 game, which would replace Sable Wolf. Uh, I don't know what that is. Frontline, no, we're not going to bother with that. Advert for Way of the Tiger. Uh, that's all an advert for Death Wake from Quicksilver. Don't know it. World Series Basketball, Soul of a Robot, follow-up to Nontaracrius, one of my favourite um, budget games. Um, but I've never played Soul of a Robot, even though I do own it. Um, I've got to get around to doing that sometime, perhaps do the two of them together. Now, there's actually a third game, and I can't, is it Oblivion or something like that, um, which I'm going to have to um, get around to eventually one day. And an advert for World Series Basketball. Uh, is it Basketball? Yeah, and on the back... Adverts for Commando and Roller Coaster. Right, that's it. Thanks ever so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that little flick through the magazine there. Again, if any of the games piqued your interest, you have any um, memories, good or bad, of them, particularly the more obscure ones that I mentioned, 
please let me know um, in the comments down below. If you like the video, again, please let me know. If you wish to subscribe, please do so. But if you do subscribe, please, please, please make sure that you take the time to um, interact and, um, you know, join in the conversations. That's what it's all about. Okay, um, tomorrow, Friday night, which will be Friday the 7th of July, there will be another video, gameplay video um, coming up. And I'll be working on some more for next week over the weekend. Take care of yourselves and goodbye.